Hello and welcome, my beautiful mermaids and mermen, my sea sponges of the sea, my fellow Pisces. This is our weekend vibe from our guides for April the 13th and the 14th. So let's start off with our first card. What do we have? We've got the card renewal. We need to take time to recharge our energy and get back on track. Challenges ahead require us to have faith and break through. So there's going to there's going to be change coming in. We need to step up to the plate. And uh, this may be the weekend that we have time to do that. Okay, we're renewing something. We're looking at something in a different way. Uh, maybe we haven't got things completed that we needed to, such as, you know, maybe it's housework. Maybe it's work around the house, uh, repairs like that. Maybe it's catching up with your emails and your technical things. Maybe it's, you know, getting ourselves on track to rejuvenate ourselves mentally and spiritually. Maybe we need to take time out to get out in nature more this weekend. Uh, maybe we need to do more meditative work. Uh, you know, take ourselves to that beautiful place. There could be some challenges this weekend they're telling us and we need to have faith that we're going to break through these things, that there will be a breakthrough. So um, if challenges you know come up and we feel as though we've got obstacles in front of us we're going to find ways to be creative to maneuver and navigate ourselves around those situations let's see what we have with our tarot deck and i got a brand new deck here and i absolutely love it it's called the awakened tarot so this is the ten of swords and the ten of swords says maybe we're going through a situation where we're moving away from a really unhappy or a very disappointing situation or relationship could even be a job that was unfulfilling to us but it's over there may have been times where we felt stabbed in the back used and abused um and you know held back restrained from being able to go forward towards our creative endeavors this is a time to move on this is a time of renewal it's the end of these challenges it's the end of hard times it's the end of these disappointments and heartbreaks so it could be even be incorporating some forgiveness into the equation this weekend and forgiveness is hard because you know we may not we don't have to accept the behavior we don't have to accept the bad and negative energy we just need to we just need to let it go in order for us to renew ourselves again to be able to move forward in a positive and a, a, a forward direction the ten of swords is always that card of completion and endings of disappointing things that held us back in the past so moving on to our next card what have we got we have you could use some self-care time like now schedule it in now this is very perfect for the renewal card here and the end of hard times so this is about us stepping back and and taking care of ourselves you know as i had said maybe you need to we need to do more uh we need to do more meditative work maybe we need to can you tell i'm add here <laughs> getting my guards straight because they drive me crazy if they're not um this is time for us to do for what what we need to do for our over you know all over well-being so some of us you know it might be just you know maybe take a spa day a mini spa day even if you don't pay for it do it at home run that bath do your toenails do your fingernails you know do that facial there's so many inexpensive ways we can do that for ourselves without having to go out and pay hundreds of dollars for it so schedule it in this weekend take time for you my fellow pisces this is time for you to be able to enjoy the swim in that deep blue sea and not have to be navigating and fighting the sharks that are chasing you this week so this is all about us renewing our ourselves letting go of the past disappointments and scheduling and time to just do some self-care coming in with that we have the five of cups so this is a card of you know reminiscing thinking of past situations crying over spilt milk uh you know thinking the what's and the why's and the you know how comes and all of those feelings that come in and especially for us pisces we do get up in our head and we lose ourselves in that imaginary world and sometimes it's the sad world so it's time to just realize we need to lift our chin up we need to realize that those hard times are over learning from those situations and then moving on to renew and recharge ourselves to go forward in a brand 
new, uh, you know, brand new favorable way and the trajectory going up towards our success. So, you know, we're able now to boss up and go after what it is we want now this weekend. So wipe up that spilt milk. Realize that it's done and done and it's history. We no longer need to be thinking about the things that disappointed us, the things that didn't work out for us, the, the, the relationships that ended for us. We need to realize that we need to just let it go. There's so much more out here for us. We've got, we're, we're on this, he's only looking at the three cups that have tipped over, but he doesn't realize there's two more behind him that are there waiting for him to grab onto these beautiful new opportunities. Coming in with what's the vibe? What have we got? Antisocial in your feelings, silent treatment, and left out. So some of you might be feeling this way this weekend. Maybe, you know, everybody's gone away and you're at home by yourself. and Or maybe you're wanting to take that time yourself. And, you know, you might want to you might want to make yourself a little bit antisocial, which isn't a bad thing. It's taking time for you. Okay? So for others, you might be feeling as though someone's giving you the silent treatment. Maybe you feel somebody's ghosted you this weekend, my beautiful fellow Pisces. Or you feel left out. So make use of this time. Don't allow yourself to get up in your head. Okay. Don't allow yourself to fall prey to asking yourself, well, what did I do? Did what did I say? Why don't they want me there? Because we only bring in more negative energy towards us when we think these thoughts. So it's time to just make use of this feeling this weekend. Try not to let it get up in your head. And you know, do some self-care for you while you have this time out. Take this time out for yourself. Make good productive use of it. Okay, this is a time for you to renewal. But it might be a time for you to sit and think, if you do think these feelings of getting the silent treatment and left out, that maybe they are not worthy of your company, my beautiful Pisces. Maybe you need to rethink the circle of you know, friends that you are involved in. Are they your true friends? Are they really there for you? Do they support you? Do they care for you? Are they there to be sensitive to your needs as well? And this has nothing to do with being needy. Uh, you know, this has to do with sitting and thinking, you know, and if you do think back about it, you may say, you know, this isn't the first time they've treated me like this. So it's time for you, my beautiful fellow Pisces, to think long and hard about this situation and this relationship. Is it really worthy of you being worried about? Maybe it's time to move on. Okay, coming in with that card, we've got the Fool. And well, there we go. You're moving on, right? So the Fool is all about taking a leap, going after something brand new, uh, taking that, that chance and jumping off that cliff. But we're going to be prepared. We're not going to jump off that cliff without checking our parachute. This is a card of being prepared, but the universe and the divine and the powers and source that be and source is saying, this is good time. This is a time for you to reflect, you to renew, you to let things go and you to take care of you. Okay, this weekend so that you can go after something brand new that is getting your creative juices flowing, my fellow mermaids and mermen. Don't be afraid to take that leap of faith. You're nobody's fool and you're starting to click in now with your intuitiveness and with your, you know, with, with your innate ability to be intuitive and do better character analysis this weekend. And I think you're going to be letting things go that really shouldn't have hung on this long. Wow. Well, my beautiful mermaids and mermen and fellow Pisces and sea sponges of the sea, Let's be mindful of the energy we absorb as those sea sponges, sponges this weekend. And let's use the time right now to schedule in some beautiful self-care that will bring renewal into our lives so we're prepared to go after something brand new. I wish you a beautiful weekend here and know that I send you lots of love and many blessings. So don't forget this Sunday at 3 p.m. Anne Ellis Angels and I will be going live again to give out some messages to all of you that want to come into the chat room. So don't forget to leave your name on the video for the contest to win a free reading. See you soon and know that I send you lots of love and many blessings.